Welcome back, my friends. My name is Eric. This is Mel7 Gaming. We're back with some more MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries with the Clan Invasion mod. Now, I had every intention of waiting until tomorrow to record my next episode, give you guys plenty of time to comment on what I should do with my battle mechs, whether we were going to strip things down to the kind of the high-end stuff or whether we were going to stay heavy and try to do that. And I'll be honest with you, I had started to get heavier. You know, we had some heavies, we had an assault, and it was very, very expensive to keep going. They just weren't Weight alone is not good enough in Clan Invasion mod to be relevant. <laughs> you gotta have some other stuff going for you. So I think uh, we'll do it this way. Now you can see there's an assassin here. Um, and I have, uh, let's, whoops, hold on. Can we go here? Um, give you an idea, I've just fixed it. I haven't done anything else. All it was missing was an arm, all of the gear, all the equipment. This is the same one we had when we first made our first attempt at this mod. Um, so it is our third um, Templar Pirate 1 um, mech. And this one is the scrap cannon and, and the slap, as I call it, the, uh, the uh, small laser array, I think is what it's actually called. Um, Guardian ECM, jump jets, mask, all that sort of good stuff. I also went onto the Dervish and added a supercharger to it. I didn't have another pirate mask kicking around, but we did put a supercharger on it and something else. I don't remember. Anyway, it'll be faster. I ran it on a couple missions and it's just not, um, well, I ran it on the one mission, on the rescue mission, and it's just so much slower than everything else. It made it, it made more sense to put something on it just, just so it could hang with everybody else. So that's what we have at the moment. Um, this Javelin, I've kind of, it's our secondary mech at the moment. It is a lot of fun, but the problem is if you're using the mask and running and you run into stuff, you take damage. So you're using the max to catch up with max to punch, and if you don't time it just right, you hit them, the arm you're gonna punch with gets ripped off because you just slammed into the side of a mech. Um, and so it became, it's fun, it's entertaining, but it's a little bit of a high risk you know, type of deal. So uh, we'll use it as our secondary mech um, in its cool black and green paint scheme there. Um, give this one an orange and black. Uh, we, we kind of converted this one to go with the bright green that we are using already. Um, orange and green. So those are kind of paint schemes we've got done. So those are the four mechs. I sold essentially everything except the Corsair and the Awesome. Um, I might sell those as well, but we already have them. As long as we can afford to keep them, uh, we will. And we can slowly start to put stuff on them as well uh, and build them up. Because you know what? They're... There's good mechs. We just need to come up with some some better gear on them. You know, we've got two double heat sinks on here and one pirate heat sink. Well, we can we can clearly do better than that. We need some uh, cooling. Um, I can't think what it's called. Cooling pipes, um, heat banks, maybe. Uh, if we can start to do that, then we can we can start to really get rid of some of these heat sinks, and then start to put ECM on them. Um, that sort of thing, right? And and make it a little bit better. Make it a little faster, you know, maybe put a mask or a supercharger on it. Um, so we'll have to see. Um, but, and it looks so cool with kind of its Atari style deal. I just love, I think the Awesome is one of my favorite mechs. So um, it'd be hard for me to sell it. I would, I would easier sell the Corsair, which is, you know, by definition, an ugly mech, but it fits the trend, right? It's a pirate mech, right? Uh, and in this case, it's got some good gear on it. You know, Gauss AC20, tier four, right? Tier four LRM5, LRM uh, tier five, large laser. You know, same thing, you know, we can, uh, it has Guardian ECM on this one already too. So, you know, it's getting there. Uh, we've also done some upgrades on some various things. Uh, I think I, it's upgrades are happening on this one. Uh, show you what we've got so far. Um, I just unlocked something because I got the last small laser. I need tier zero small laser, whatever I need to get. Um, we did get tighter missile cluster. I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but I've added that to a couple things. And is that it? I think it's this is what I just unlocked right here. So what we need to work on is we need to work on mech collector because that one's down there a ways. And we need to do some more treasure hunter. I mean, look how close that is. Uh, and that's got a potent warhead, so more more missile damage, right? Uh, so that would be really good as well for us. So we'll have to see about that. Um, I don't have any of those types of missions at the moment. 
Well, I've got the collection ones, right, for the collect max. That we need. But I don't have any go here and pick up this treasure. They're kind of a pain in the ass, but it is what it is. All right, star map. Oh, one more thing I want to show you um, while I'm thinking about it. Um, January 31st, 3050. Let's watch the news. Um, contact with deep periphery systems lost, raising fears of pirate activity. Hmm. Periphery pirates go quiet as traders go missing. I wonder it could be happening out there on the periphery up towards the FRR. Maybe we should try to go find out. That's kind of what I'm thinking, right? So that is a five to eight. I wonder, that's a 200 tonner. We could probably do some stuff up there. There's a patrol contract up there um, and a cantina. So maybe we can kind of double up and uh, objective raid, objective raid, battleground. That, hmm. Let's go here first. This one's only a difficulty 29. This one's a 38. Same, uh, oh, the tonnage changes. 238. That one's a 270. Maybe we start with this one and kind of see how it goes and kind of build up from there. I mean, generally speaking, I think we can we can now punch a little bit above our weight. But again, the, the they could have tougher stuff for the weight in there too, right? Weight's the only thing determining what's in there. Uh, there's no weighting. Uh, there's no weight of power on mechs. It's just the weight of the mech, right? So, all right, we'll take all those. We'll take one of those. Uh, and we'll take some money. That should be good. Objective raid, iron oxide, daytime. Um, we'll take this one off. We'll go with the assassin. Still being worked on. Uh, do we want to take the assassin? Let's start with the assassin. We might flip into the dervish a little later. Um... No, I'm okay with it like this. The, you don't have a minimum range. You do. So let's use you as your bat, as the assault one. Or, you know, as the missile support one. Back. Hmm, excuse me. I think that will be fine. I have been looking at pilots. I haven't... I've seen, like, some 42s, 43s. Um, but, you know, these two guys are already in their 30s. And he's got a 40. So it's not worth the money at the moment, I don't think. Our target is a series of satellite relays housed in instant... We're almost camouflaged. Destroy them and head to the rendezvous point for evac. We will monitor your progress from here. Good luck, Commander. Uh, I'm going to start left. We'll see if the uh, scrap cannon absolutely destroys our frame rate again. We are running. Um, we are running uh, Xeno Args. Look at that. I love it. We're jumping. We're moving. Oh, you know what else I can do? We can do this. Target down. No, that's pretty good if you ask me. Uh, we did fine. I don't think our frame rate suffered at all from that. Okay. I'm really enjoying um, seeing everybody jump around. Jump around, jump around. Okay. We got in there pretty quick. Uh, I'm going to come skipping out of here, try not to run into anything. know that we need to kill any of these, but you know what? Oh, we gotta get this, though, so may as well. Oh, almost ran into something. Nice. What are you painting? Oh, okay. There's just a small laser, so I'm gonna just step over here. Uh, I don't have a lot of range of that one. Oh, hold on. You guys want to get that? I mean, I could if I wanted to, but I would rather not waste ammo on it. Uh, another vehicle over. Oh, we're only seeing vehicles so far. Interesting. Make a door. Make a hole. 
been set up identically to the other base. Interesting. Um, oh, one more. Oh, look at them all over there. Look at them all over there. I don't think we have a reason to care at the moment. Oh, right into somebody. All right, now get out of my way so I can grab this loot. Look at him just blink. Look at him just blink like that. Oh, he got shut down. Oh, he stopped right in front of him, but he shut him down. Look at that. That's how you do it. Hansel comes in, shuts him down. It's so hot right now. Hansel. Then we just finish them. Freeze them in place and off they go. And off we go. I'll ignore that. Uh, sure. I'm gonna duck down. We're gonna tell everybody to go after that. Yeah. I wasn't really going to go that direction, but I didn't want to run into somebody. I was going to take care of that. Except I can't make the jump clearly. He's far enough away, he survived that. Not that, though. And I think that's it. I think out we go. We are, like, in perfect condition, too. Got a heavy rifle out of it. Tier three, nice. Cicada. Oh, Centurion. Do we need to collect a Centurion? We might need to. I know I had to. I don't remember if I already completed that one or not. Um, if not, we'll sell it. Anything else cool in here? It doesn't really matter if that's what we're gonna take. But if we were to see something that we need gear-wise, we'll prioritize gear over money. Um, we got five Vulcan mechs killed. Some machine, oh, look at that. Tier five, three of them, nice. Didn't quite get us to the next thing, but that's okay. Um, toss him into cold storage for now. Yeah, he's just a normal one. And then uh, we can go ahead and sell him out of cold storage. 590. We'll take it. It's something. Contracts. All right, let's go up to the next one. This one is a 230. We'll take nine, that gets us up to 30. I think we just go with what we have. Our client has gained reliable intel on a series of warehouses that were neutralized. We are to proceed to each location marked on the map, verify the buildings and destroy the marked objectives. Be aware of elevated levels of hostile activity in the area, Commander. So don't stick around any longer than you have to. Roger that. Our newfound speed, we can get across the map pretty quickly. Target acquired. Painting target with tag. Target destroyed. All right. I'm going to slow down here for a second as we come in. Target is being painted. I love that. Love it. Are these ones outside the wall? 
Come on, climb down. Target destroyed. All right. I don't know if we need to destroy any of these. Did he not finish that one? Tango down. I've tagged the hostile. I'm detecting unidentified mechs in the area. Moving in to investigate. Oh wait, all that's dead. These guys are nasty. Oh, he's still alive? Oh no, there's something behind him. Oh, shut down. Wasn't paying attention. I could hear, but it didn't matter. That's why, right there. That's why. No, he's just the ER large. I thought maybe he was the, uh... We're gonna run over this guy. Try to get our heat down. Got him. All right. We just pushed right to the sea. We are like Sherman. Just burning everything on our way to the ocean. All right. Next. We don't really have that far to go. Let's just hop up over this. <laughs> Look at that. Yes. I love it. I love it. I didn't kill anything with that, but I tried. I tried. Go hit this. Oh, didn't quite make it out of there. Did you get him? All right. Turn on the masks. Time to run. Let's go. Target acquired. Oh. How did that not... Oh, that's the big boy. Yeah, you, you see those crazy turrets now. Uh... That was a great showing, Commander. Our benefactor will be pleased with our success. Now get back to the dropship. It's up. What was the... There was a mech in here somewhere, right? Okay, that's enough. That one was a little bit more touchy. Oh wait, so 2.30 seems to be kind of right about where we should, we should limit ourselves with the lance we have right now. We get an auto cannon on that, okay. Wasn't nothing, no max out of it though, but that's fine, ER, large. Uh, this is kind of just garbage for us, it looks like. Yeah, nothing useful for us in there, but that's okay, we'll take it, we'll sell it. like we're going to get pretty much all of it. There we go. Now we took a little bit. Took 120. That shot in the back somebody gave me. Didn't help. But that's okay. We had 400 worth-ish. All right. So I don't want to go to the next one. The next one's probably a bit much for me. 
Uh, we've got three 230s there. Demolition and a raid. And a patrol that's 200. Let's go do that because it's got the cantina there first. I think that's our first one. See if we can get three. I think this would be the third mission this time. All right. I want treasure hunter. Okay. We'll grab that. Uh, collect a gener. Yeah, we could probably do that. Okay. Anything at the black market we care about. Uh, it'll be 10x, but not at the moment. LRMs, mediums. If you have an extra 115 million and you want a cheat weapon, <laughs> there you go. Uh, rocket launcher 15. Okay. Aero fighter engine, another 197 million. Aero. Uh, active probe. Um, this one gives us no line of sight sensor range out to 825 meters. That can be pretty good. This is 625 for significantly less money. It's an extra ton. It does give us, this one gives us an extra 50% base range. This gives us 15, but for, you know, an eighth of the cost, I think that might be what I'm gonna go for. I don't know what I'm gonna put it on at the moment, but we're gonna start working our way into some of that. Um, I'm gonna buy that just in case we run across the laser LMS that we or AMS that we want to put in there. Clan mask. Uh, I don't really have the money for them at the moment. Yeah, supercharger. Okay. Good enough. All right, let's take a look at the contract. It's a patrol. Uh, we'll take one damage. They don't particularly like us. So I don't expect us to get much out of this one. But that's okay. Uh, I think I'm going to take the Dervish this time just so I can see um, how much better it is now that it's got the supercharger on it. All right, very short range. You can use it, but we do not, can't use it for very long. Okay, answer that. Look how much internal damage we just took from that. A lot. <laughs> so I wonder if that's, is that heat that we're building up with that? Let's find out. That's probably heat. I think I heard somebody on last night when the, all the devs were on working on stuff talking about um, somebody had a supercharger that instantly blew up their mech and they were saying, well, you don't have enough cooling. So I'm assuming cooling is what I need to get this running. We don't have much, we have like one heat sink in this thing beyond the engine heat sinks. So that would make sense. Oh, didn't make it very far there, did we? All right, so mobility is not this dervish's strong point at the moment. Where? Somewhere over here, I guess. Oh, yeah. He tried to shoot me. Did you see that? You got PPC to the arm, it looks like. Three enemy forces so far. Target 
How do you pop back in? Oh. Let's get out of the tree so we don't lose all our missiles to it. Oh, he got shut down. Target destroyed. Proceed to evac. You have found a hero mech stashed away in the base. Win the mission to recover it. Oh, that's all we gotta do? Well, hell yeah! Cicada, CDX5, very cool. Probably sell it, but still. Um, we could take that. What else is there? Nothing else worth taking. Okay. Job rewards, collect a Cicada mech. Oh, is that the one we wanna turn in for that though? Hold on, maybe. Let's, let's see what's on it. So it's in good shape. If we were to sell it, what does it sell for? Uh, that one's one we need to collect. All right. At the moment, it's worth four mil. Let's take a look at it. Bunch of double heat sinks. And that's kind of it at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to toss it into here. Then we'll... I wonder how much is it worth now. Now that we've taken all this stuff off, is it still worth four mil? Still worth four mil. Ah, oh, we really should just sell it. Hmm. How close are we on our mech collector? More heat capacity would be good. No, I think for four mil, that's an expensive cicada. I think for four mil, we sell it. I'm sorry. I, I'd like to get that, but... Four mil's a lot. And meanwhile, we got a bunch of double heat sinks, which actually, we were just talking about the dervish. Normally it doesn't really need heat sinks, right? That's, that's the thing. So it's got two clan heat sinks. Normally it doesn't really need them. What if we've got three jump jets on it? Hmm. I don't think I have another mask on here, unfortunately. Not one we can put on here anyway. Yeah, no, we need a pirate mask if we're gonna put it on. Um, let's take off the supercharger. So what we could do is, let's go back up here to the double heat sink. I wanna see exactly what the difference is. So this is capacity two, efficiency point two. Um, Capacity 1, efficiency 0.25. Capacity 1, efficiency 0.25. For only half a ton, though. So what if we get rid of that and that, and we go there, and what if we get rid of those and we just go regular LRM pirate just for the extra... Oh, it's still two tons, so it doesn't matter. Um... Yeah, well, well, that's fine, I guess. And then we can add another heat, a jump jet. Oh, that's a pirate jump jet. Um. Yeah, no, I was just meaning regular jump jet. There we go. So something like that. So we've got a little bit more jump height. It says we've got less cooling. Hmm. All right, so this would be 12, 1.2. This would be 1.45. One point four. So that'd get a significant well not significant, just point one five. I'm not sure it's necessary at the moment. If I'm honest. Let's leave that one on there. Let's take this one off for now. This mech is still gonna be a little slow. We need to see about getting a mask, I guess. Um 
So this is going to be the one that still struggles a little bit, which is one reason to make sure that it has enough jump jets to travel. Right? Did we do any of the jump jet upgrades on it? We did not because it doesn't make sense on this one. Okay, well, it's just going to be the slower mech. It just is what it is. I'll sell this one, and uh, we'll be back next time with some more Mech Warrior 5. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Cheers. Oh, we need that.